we're going to be going over stance and I'm aiming at the little yellow thing on the string down there. I'll show you here in a second. Oh, I almost collapsed that shot. First shots of the morning too. Got it. Here we go. I really like this big shot target. I've already put, you know, 5,000 shots in it. Now it's got another uh, 1,000 shots in it. The cardboard and tape is holding up really nicely. Uh, when I shoot right here and I hit this fabric, because this is a 38-pound bow, it kind of like bounces out so uh i have to move the target around i've been asked a lot whether or not stance is important and as you progress with these tutorials and as you progress as an archer after you have already had your 1500 to 2000 shots at a bow's distance from the target with an overspined arrow that is featherless and your arrow stick in straight and you have really good form with your posture and everything else then and only then should you move on to you know like doing different things like walking and shooting you know crouching and doing all these other different things that you see in all my videos okay uh today's video we're just going to go over the stance the stance is really really super easy okay the stance is really easy in my opinion okay you see this arrow right here this arrow goes all the way to that yellow spot that I was shooting at on the target. Boom, all the way down there, okay? We are going to stand shoulder width apart. Now, I do not advise wearing sandals, okay? I actually have two broken toes, okay? So that's the reason why I'm wearing sandals. I just wanted my shoes to match. This stand shoulder width apart, as you can see. Boom, this is shoulder width apart. So this foot right here is in line with my shoulder and this foot right here is in line with my other shoulder. All right, you see how the knees are slightly bent, okay? They are not fully bent, they're just slightly bent. Another stance that I like, and I call this the boxing stance, where you stand just a little bit further than shoulder width apart. All right, knees slightly bent. See this, this is 100% straight, boom. Now it's just slightly bent. You don't wanna stand with your legs locked. I personally don't. You can shoot like that. I know archers who do shoot like that and who are extremely accurate, but I don't like that. This is my boxing stance. I really like to have a boxing stance and it really helps with more mobility, like twisting and different things like that, that we will get into. And that's going to be in the list of tutorials. So make sure that you are subscribed and make sure that you are watching these tutorials and order because I'm going to number each tutorial and this is step one this is step two step three step four so on and so forth once all the tutorials are made so uh, make sure that you're following each step in line this right here is what I call my Muay Thai stance and as you can see from the arrow boom it's still at a slight angle it's a slight angle like this towards that arrow that's in a straight line towards the target all right it's like this to where this heel right here comes all the way out to this foot right here. And as you can see, that's 100% in line with the target. Now guys, this is just my way of doing it and these are just a few stances that I like, okay? So, you have what I call the Muay Thai stance where you stand and you face the target, okay? And you have the boxing stance right here and it looks like this going towards the target. And then you have this stance which is a lot easier to do with the hips and the shoulder facing the target, okay? These are the three stances that I use. I ask that you pick one of them and that you stick with it for your first 1,500 to 2,000 shots while you were standing at a bow's distance from the target shooting a featherless overspined arrow, making it stick in 100% straight. So while you're working on your form, you just pick one of these stances. Boxing, Muay Thai. Okay, this stance right here, I learned from a traditional archery coach. I have seen many people stand with an open stance like this right here, uh, what I call a boxing stance because it just looks like a boxing stance to me, even though it's not technically a boxing stance. I just call it a boxing stance. And the third hardest one, but still relatively easily to do once you start learning your twist is this one. Okay, I recommend that you stand like this. 80% of your weight on your feet right here. 
and then 20% on your back heels. Really helps with that slight lean with a slightly bent knee, okay? All my stances, I use a slightly bent knee. Not 100% straight, slightly bent, okay? I'm gonna try to show you again. Not 100% straight, slightly bent. I know that my three stances may not work for everyone, but this is what has worked for me and what has worked for me for years, okay? So I know that every archer and every body is different, okay? Every physical human body is different from the next physical human body, okay? I'm just showing you in these videos my shot process and what works for me, okay? So if you don't like it, I apologize. You know, there are tons of other channels where you can go where you can subscribe and learn. People have asked me about my shot process, so I am just explaining to you my shot process. And these are the three stances that I really like to use. Uh, you know, like if this video has helped you and you would like to support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. If you wanna learn more about the way that I shoot a bow, I have tons of content on Patreon. So please hop on over there and become a member. I would really appreciate you over there. Even if you already know how to shoot, but you still wanna support this channel, hop on over there. I would love to have you as a Patreon. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I said, this is just my way of doing it, okay? It may not be 100% correct, okay? I'm just showing you my shot process in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, and you have a blessed day in Christ. Bye now.